Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over free cybersecurity and IT resources for veterans. Now, if you're not a veteran, this video is not for you. I got out of the military about six years ago, and I really wish I had known all of the opportunities and resources that I had at my hand, because there would have been no reason to worry about anything. There's an insane amount of opportunity for veterans if you come from a MOS or their military occupation specialty, then you can leverage the skills you currently have and gain a few extra skills and then be able to get hired fairly quickly. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Nicole, and this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. Now, the first resource I'm going to talk about is one I'm actually starting on June 6th, and this is the Workforce Training Program by the Purdue Northwest University. I will have a link below, but this is for veterans, any first responders such as EMT, law enforcement, and things of that sort, and it is sponsored by the NSA, and the contract, I believe, ends in 2023, but this is totally free, and it offers three different workforce certificate training programs along with the certificates and they actually pay for the certificates and it has three different tracks. The first one is the artificial intelligence track, which is what I'm going through. And this is going to teach you the basics of machine learning, IOT, cloud, and Python. I'm starting the Python course on June 6th. And this is about how to apply AI technologies to cybersecurity. So it's a really upcoming field and along with uh, embedded devices and all of that sort. And I have very limited experience with this, which is why I chose this track. The other tracks I'm pretty familiar with and I was like, meh. The next track is the digital forensic track. And this is great if you want to work in law enforcement. It will go over the basics. So A+, Security+, Linux system administration, which is a great skill to gain if you want to go into IT, cybersecurity, computer hacking, forensic investigator. I've been through that material with WGU. It's a great class. Computer forensics, which will go over basically like basic chain of custody things, collecting evidence and all of that fun sort. And this is great if you want to go into the more legal side of things, uh, or if you want to work in law enforcement or government, it's a really good path to go into. And remember, all of these are free. So if you're not sure which one you go into, just choose one. And if you don't like it, you can change it later. The next workforce pathway Purdue Northwest has is the system administration pathway. And this is great if you want to go into cloud or manage Linux servers or anything of that sort. And these are very good skills to get. Which cybersecurity and IT pathway that you choose is really up to you and which one you like best. It, you can't really fail here. So great program. I don't know if it will get extended past 2023. So make sure to check that out. But I would go ahead and apply now. The next really good resource for veterans transitioning out of the military and that want to get into IT is the Microsoft Software and Systems Academy. And I've heard a lot of great things about this and it is free if you're transitioning out of the military. You have to be within 180 days of end service. So you can actually leave six months early if you get accepted into this program. If you are hitting your life right now, it's, gr it's a great option. You can elect two different pathways with the My MSSA program. You can go the cloud application developer pathway, which is great if you want to become a software developer. You can also go the server and cloud administration pathway, which is great if you want to do more cloud, like more cloud administration, or you want to become a cloud security engineer or do anything that doesn't involve coding. Great pathway to take. It's about 12 weeks long. Also, Microsoft has over a thousand hiring partners after you go through this program. And a lot of companies really like to hire veterans because of their work ethic. The next really good cybersecurity and IT resource for veterans is the Vet Tech 
program. And I really wish I had known this before I went through my post GI Bill, but you basically only have to have one day left on your GI Bill and you can go to basically any type of boot camp that you want. I usually don't recommend cybersecurity or IT boot camps uh, because it's not worth the money. A lot of them are charging 10 to $17,000, which people usually take out in a loan. I can't recommend that. However, if you're not paying for the boot camp and it's totally free, it can't hurt. And it will give you a good base knowledge on top of your military training and your work experience. So if you're looking to upskill, look into that, just be careful in the boot camp that you choose. They're not all created equal, and a lot of them are kind of sketchy. <laughs> Uh, so I've noticed like in probably 90% of the cybersecurity and IT boot camps that I've evaluated, they all have the same curriculum. It's like the same template that they use. I'm just like, what? what is this? You can find better free resources. I guess the issue comes down to accountability. To save $18,000, I would keep myself pretty accountable. I wish I had known about this. You also do get paid to go to these like boot camps. So if the boot camp is six months long, you will receive BAH. So it only, I think, uses about one day of your GI Bill, but you get six months of benefits. I definitely would look into that fact. Also, I would look into Ivy League education programs such as Harvard. Harvard has a cybersecurity certificate that you can get into. Harvard just looks really good on your resume and I'm sure the education is also top notch. And you don't have to go through the traditional acceptance program. It is just a certificate. The next one is the GI Bill and the post 9-11 bill. And now this, I mean, you probably already know this is at your disposal, but if you're going into tech, I only really suggest three different schools. and. I'll go into them and why. Whether or not you need a cybersecurity degree, I honestly just boil it down to return of investment. And because you're actually getting free tuition and the government is paying you a monthly allowance to go to school, it's 100,000 million times worth it. Looking good on paper is actually still important, whether that's in tech or in any field. The three schools I recommend are, number one, I would say WGU. If you already have a lot of experience, this is a good option because you can and accelerate your progress and you can graduate within two years with your bachelor's degree, maybe 18 months if you knock out all of your basic courses using like study.com and things of that sort. So you can get your bachelor's degree quick. Along with that, you get a lot of industry standard certificates. These are really valuable. And so WGU, I do have a playlist that goes into WGU and my thoughts about it and all of that sort. The next school I really recommend is SANS. So SANS actually has a bachelor's and a master's degree program. I wish if I could go back, I would have done this because along with the bachelor's degree, you get access to their, their GIAC training or GIAC and those, and along with the certificate, and those certificates are about $8,000 each. And this is free with your GI Bill and Post 11. It's also very good like cybersecurity knowledge to get. And I would say it might be the best like quality education that you can get. On top of that, they also offer an internship with your degree program, which is extremely valuable and it, they don't charge you extra for it. And you can take a break off from your schoolwork to go to an internship. I think this is really good. The next really good cybersecurity degree program to go to would be the Georgia Tech. And also I'm not sponsored by any of these, but they have a master's program that takes one year and is highly reputable solely based on the Georgia Tech name. So name brands are not really big in tech, but if that's something that you care about, going to Georgia Tech might be the best option. And if you already have a bachelor's degree. Also look at degree programs that offer like a co-op, which basically is an internship included with their degree program, internships and apprenticeships, apprenticeships, apprenticeships. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are very good when trying to, are really good when leveraging your experience and skills to getting a job in tech. The next one is tuition assistance. If you're on active duty right now, I strongly suggest to take advantage of tuition assistance and start 
doing school right now before you get out and you're like, oh my God, I have to uh, do this. So, I mean, it's a free resource. It can be kind of a pain with all of the paperwork you have to do and like the hoops. Don't let that discourage you. Just go ahead and do it anyway. The next really good resource for veterans if you're wanting to get into cybersecurity and IT jobs is VetSec. And now I believe this was created by Heath Adams, but I think someone else now runs it. It's a really good program to reach out to other veterans that are trying to get a job in cybersecurity and uh, uh, cybersecurity and less so IT and like software development. But I mean, you can kind of just lump all of tech jobs into one, right? Um, so go and look at that. I wish that was around when I was getting out six years ago, but yeah, he also has a channel, The Cyber Mentor. And also if you're interested in becoming a pen tester, he does have a certificate program uh, along with a huge network of people. So go look at that. The next underrated resource for veterans wanting to get into cybersecurity is apprenticeships. Apprenticeships. The next one and undervalued is apprenticeships. And a lot of DOD contract companies do have these. Look into Mantech, uh, Lockheed, Boeing, they all have veteran transition apprenticeship programs. And also a lot of companies want to hire veterans and have transitioning programs such as Chase Bank. I know I've been reached out by several large companies being like, hey, you're a veteran. Come, come, we want to hire you. And I'm like, is that all you care about? Really good. I would take advantage of these and look around, go to the top DOD, De Department of Defense contractors, see if they have any of these internships or apprenticeships for transitioning military. Also uh, ask your, I'm sure you, you're going through some program when you're getting out about transitioning th to the civilian world, ask about these types of things specifically for tech because there are more in tech than there probably are in other fields. I, I remember being pushed like driving school a lot and uh, things of that sort that I had no interest in. Um, s seek out specific like tech or people who or other veterans who have who have a tech job in the industry uh, because sometimes also the people who work at there don't really know about the tech industry because there's so many nuances in the field it's just too much too much for someone to keep up with if they don't actively work in the field but if you're wanting to start a con cybersecurity consulting business or a contracting business the veterans does have a program to help you with business and you can actually start your own contract company. And because you're a veteran, you do have extra identifiers that make it easier for you to break into the field of say the Department of Defense contracting. I wouldn't suggest doing this right away. However, it is something to think about in the long run because a lot of these contractors make tons of money off of these contracts. And so if you learn the know-hows of how the industry works, start your own DOD like consulting company and become a subcontractor for a while. And then later on, you can become a prime contractor. Just, uh, it's just something to think about for later in your career. I wouldn't start that now, wait a couple of years, uh, but keep it in the back of your mind. And also something to really remember is that you can leverage your skills from the military that directly correlate to cybersecurity skills. A lot of the terminology is the same, things such as kill chain, TTPs, sit reps, I mean, this this lingo is used in the cybersecurity field because it is defense. It's just that one missing like technical piece, which you can easily acquire fairly quickly, especially if you've been in the military because you can pick up things extremely fast and you know how it works and you have the correct mindset. Is there any resources that I missed or any that you know of? Leave a comment below, it'd be highly appreciated and Check out all of my other videos on cybersecurity and IT, and I will see you then. Goodbye.